flesh. Oh, really? Stipe sits on something that looks very similar. <laughs> well, look, we were just talking about it. Let's start with that main event this weekend, yeah. right? Like, sick, sick fight, man. I think it's... Um, I mean, I have an, obviously a little bit of a different opinion on the whole thing because uh, it's one of my best friends, a guy who I've trained closely with and I know very well, and another guy who's been on a crazy tear, you know, Francis and Steve Bay. I just think it's, uh, it's a great fight for Steve Bay. I think the style-wise, everything, it just matches up perfect, and I just think, uh, yeah, it's an easy win for Steve Bay. It, yeah, and more than... He's fought number world champions like six or five or six, seven fights in a row now. So I think this is a guy who's never been a world champion. It's the easiest fight. It feels like everyone will remember where they were when they saw Francis knock out over him. Where were you and what was your reaction to that? I was with Steve Beck, actually. And both of us were not watching the fight. Really? What were you watching? Yeah, we were uh, at his uh, brother's, at his brother-in-law. Actually, that's what happens when you get married. This is, this is what happens in the marriage game, that's right. why I'm staying away myself, <laughs> is hanging out with him and Wyman, two guys that married and two of my best friends, and get pulled to these family events. So we were at some, uh, his his brother-in-law surprise 30th party, but I mean, I ate well, that was good, but yeah, we were there, we didn't even know what happened in the fight, and uh, I guess we heard, uh, he's like, hey, uh, see what check out happened in the fight, so I, I checked, uh, I think it was... I don't even know what to check. And uh, there was a uh, oh, Francis Ngannou with the craziest knockout ever of an Alistair Overeem. And I showed him, I'm like, yeah, I guess I, you know who you're fighting next. And I threw him the phone. And that was it. What was his reaction to what you get? He said, oh, cool, man. Uh, it should be a fun one. He goes, I wonder how the fight went, this and that. And I'm sure he watched it down the line, but it wasn't anything he was worried about. It kind of very similar to us. How you saw him on ESPN the other day, how you, you see him every day, just, all right, cool, that's the next guy, let's go and get the win. Yeah. Talking about your fight, you've got Chris in your corner, I just spoke to him, this is the first time he's in your corner as a head coach, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, he's the, uh, uh, I guess you call him, I don't know, he's the head asshole, can I say? So, <laughs> that's what he is. Uh, yeah, you know, my uh, coach who I've had in my fight in my corner for previous 24 fights, uh, we got another guy boxing tonight, and he's his only guy, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to take him away from that. And the guy boxing, uh, I think, for like a world title or something like that, so I'm not going to take that away from uh, the kid. And uh, So uh, Chris got called up to the bigs, and uh, he's got to step up to step up to the plate. We'll see what he can do. He's, hopefully, my whole goal is to get a knockout within the first five minutes. I don't want to hear that guy in between. What's it been like hanging out with him during fight week as your head coach? The worst. He tried crawling in bed with me. I'm cutting weight. I don't want to deal with you. He tried crawling. Oh, but I like my guy skinny, you know? Get out of here, bro. <laughs> like, weirdo. Like, he's just the worst guy to be around. Yeah. How have you mentally been preparing for this fight? Because obviously, you've had a bit of a rough patch now. So what's your kind of mentality coming into this fight? Uh, same thing for me. It's the same as the same as any. I'm, I'm a chill dude, man. Whatever. It's... But yeah, I know nerves are going to be there. That's what this game is. It's every fight in your career, that's part of being in the UFC. Every fight you have is the biggest fight in your career. And just like my fight before this and my fight before that, that all the way down the line, they were the biggest fight in my career. You know what I mean? That next fight always is, and that's a lot of pressure. Every fight is a super bowl. You know, every fight is the biggest game ever. So there's no next week, no nothing like that. It's, you gotta win right now. So um, it's huge, but I know the pressure's gonna be there. I've had it before, man. 24 at a time. So yeah, just go in there and get the win. When you close your eyes and you envision the fight playing out in your mind, how do you see yourself getting your hand raised in victory? How do you win? Um, and I, I'm not a guy who watches film. I'm not a guy who really cares what the other guys are gonna do. I know what I want to do to go in there, which go in there and get a knockout. I'm trying to submit guys, I'm trying to wrestle guys, I'm trying to do anything different. I'm not going to try and do anything different now because I lost him around and I'm going to go in there and try to knock the guy out. So, I do think I knocked this guy out. I don't know if it'll be in the first round or the third round, but it'll be, uh, maybe it's the second. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I do think I knocked him out. Nice. Yeah. All right, John, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Good you, luck. Man. Yeah. I know you want to...